jump right out. This is that big cannibal, Gabriel. I can't dang teeth. When you jump out of that boat, you lose a lot, a lot of security Ooh. and a lot of protection from that boat. Watch your toes. Sunrise across the bayou. The alligators are restless, becoming more aggressive every day. And over at Duffy's, Jacob and Chase Landry discussed taking a gamble on an old hunting area that hasn't been accessible for several years. OK, so that's it right now? How's that? And then you know where they got the big pollens out here on the, on the bank right there. Big Bull Bayou is a place right off the river where year after year, you should have big bull alligators come in here to get away from the boat traffic and all. We went in there last year. It was all silted up. We couldn't even go back there. You can go there now. You sure? Mm -hmm. You know, even though it's a big gamble going into a place like this, looking at a map and finding them unbeaten places is really what always puts us out on top and catch big bull alligators year after year. You don't learn new areas, and you don't get favorite places by not going to try them out. Let's go. The plan for the day is for Jacob and Don to run lines along the riverside of Big Bull Bayou, while Chase takes his gator tail into the most inaccessible area of the bayou itself. If Jacob's right, it should be swimming with giant monsters. A place like this is a dream to big alligators because that's what they, they need. You know, they don't like all that pressure and commotion. There's plenty, plenty of food for them to eat. They're all healthy, healthy alligators down there. So this is a, a picture-perfect scene for an alligator, if you're a big bull gator. As the Landry split up and head to Big Bull Bayou, Jacob and Don have luck on their side immediately. Whoa, 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 look right there. We were traveling down the river, and at about 40 yards, I can see this alligator swimming with his head up out the water. I started thinking, hey, we got to get it. So. I'll go ahead and turn it. Whoa! Hang on, D. Where is he? Look, 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 look. That's him. Right there. Hurry up, D. You see? Look right there, D. See him? Hurry up, D. Come on. That was a close call. Tell you what, that could have been a really bad situation. Don ended up in the water with 11, possibly 12-foot alligator. The last thing you want is for you or the person helping you to get hurt. And if you're not careful, if you're not paying attention, there's a lot of things that could hurt you. I'm going to get all the water out of my boots. Lines down. Jacob and Don arrive at their first line. What we got here? What we got here? Look at that. Damn. Son of a. Look like a big one got hungry. Look at that. Chewed that so much his head clean off. Look. Look at that. Chewed his head off. There's one big one in here. Huh? Oh, dang. Look at the head. Look at his head. I mean, he went to work on him, didn't he? Son of a. Gun. Look at that, dude. You could just see a monster alligator had just destroyed this poor little alligator while it was on the line. And we just hoping and praying that, you know, this gator went back and bit another line further down the line because we want to catch this gator while we're here. Boy, dude, he had his head shoot clean off, didn't he? Look at here, right in front of me. Oh, look, the little tree all tore up. You can see where he's been climbing up. Careful up there. I'm trying to see what damn hook at. Be careful. Don just jumps off the boat, not knowing where the line went, if there was an alligator hiding in the tall grass or anything. You know, I'm always worried about him doing that. He doesn't realize the dangers and how fast them alligators can actually run. When you jump out of that boat, you lose a lot, a lot of security and a lot of protection from that boat. Gators don't climb trees, do they? Not the last time I checked. 
There it is. He pulled it out. Pulled the hook out? Really? Yeah. Oh. Did he straighten the hook or it just came out of it? Just straighten, look. Just straight? Yeah. Straightened no, it out. No way. They use these hooks to catch giant sharks. And for an alligator to straighten it out, that's when you know you got a beast on your hands. Two eight-footers right there, and I promise you, they didn't do that. They're not leaving a track like that and not going to straighten a hook like that either. We could see where the alligator was getting up on the bank, but what I didn't realize is there was actually a trail going over the hill into this old bayou that had silted up from years ago. But I can't get in there with my boat, so this is just one of them areas where we're going to have to send Chase in with the gator tail, and, and hopefully he can get them. Jiminy Christmas. With new evidence of the Goliath, Jacob and Don head off to their next line, knowing Chase will follow the gator trail deep into Big Bull Bayou. Line down. Got a tree shaker, baby. It's tight. He's on him. What we got? Bringing the papa. Don't look like Oh, he's... good. Really? Good. Yeah, big old plump donkey. See what he wants to do with us. He got a little stuff to him, don't he? Look at that line. Look at that line right outside his mouth. Ooh. Ah. Line's gonna pop. Watch it. Quick, get him quick. Ah. Can't get a shot like that. Don't I? Ah. That's what damn near got me at that tail. He's down there whooping my ass. He about got me at that tail. Awesome. This beast is a solid catch, but it's not big enough to bend a hook or chomp off the head of a six-footer. Get these little ones out. Maybe catch that big boo that chewed up that little one. I know that there's a giant in here, and catching just one isn't going to fill all the tags we have. But I don't mind putting in that extra time to try to put them in the boat. We got to find this gate. Oh. Fish Ooh, bait. That's perfect. That's perfect bait. All right, we'll go bait that line with this fish while it's alive. One of the jumping carps jump in the boat, and that's the best bait we can have in here, because them gators are piled up in here for a reason, and that's because these fish are caught in here. So Don went ahead and took the hook, passed it through the fish's back. We put it in the water where the fish would survive, but he would sit there and, and you know, mimic a wounded fish. Look at There you go. Fresh bait, baby. Wounded fish that can't resist. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. He's fighting. That's a tree shaker there, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got your hands ready? Where are they going to be? This is that big cannibal, Gabriel. I can't dang to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gun's loaded, baby. That's what I got little one. Got to be him. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 Oh, big boy. Watch your toe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at her, he's too. Look, even in dinner, the aluminum. On the bottom. Ooh. 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 Nope, 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 it wasn't hung up. Come on, big man. Ah. Ooh. 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 You heard that, huh? Oh, you son. Oh! You son. Smokey, man, smokey! Baby. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? <laughs> Boy, that's a big one. One, two, three. Ah, that's a good one there, buddy. That's a good one there, buddy. Big boy in the car. I looked down and told him, I said, that right there is the one that's been popping our lines. We got him bagged, tagged, and he's in the boat. We're going to take him to the freezer. Probably open up his belly. We should be able to find the head of that little one he chewed on. He's definitely the biggest bull in the area. Hopefully, you know, that'll do a lot, a lot of damage to the breeding population. We got him. I 
can't believe it. Boom shakalaka. <laughs>